Imagine rolling up to a place in your expensive automobile, you put your shades down and nod to those who stare. Well, just the looks of not only you, but your expensive car as well. People assume that you're a mafia boss, that they won't even attempt to hold eye contact with you. Keep on watching as we look at the top 10 cars that just give you the mafia feels. Welcome to Social Lux. Our goal is to provide you with a dose of luxury, travel, houses, cars, and stories of successful people so you can be inspired to live an abundant, beautiful, and successful life. We upload videos weekly. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and feel free to comment any questions you may have down below. Enjoy! Number 1. Lincoln Continental Mark III 2A, 1969 to 1999. The Lincoln Continental is the definition of the bad guy. For 40 years, this Baroque coupe served as a representation of the Khalsa Nostra Gang's upper ranks. From 1960 through 1990s, if you saw a Lincoln Continental Mark III to 8 roaming New York streets, you would know someone was up to no good. You might see Carlos Gambino, Richard Iceman, Kuklinski, or Paul Castellano hiding behind the tinted windows. In 1941, Continental appeared in The Godfather since it was such an iconic vehicle. Number 2. Mercedes-Benz S-Class A black Mercedes S-Class with tinted windows has a particularly unique stigma, that of the Yakuza preferred vehicle. Among the residents of Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, and Yokohama, any generation of S-Class Mercedes fits the Yakuza and instills fear in anyone who is on the wrong side of their strong arm. Because the Yakuza have highly specific branding guidelines for their workplaces, dress code, and even their distinctive walk, it is to be anticipated that they would standardize on a strong flagship car like the S-Class. Number 3. Maybach 5762 2003 to present When Birdman acquired a 62 Landolet variant to his extensive vehicle collection, he once more made the Maybach popular. On these wheels, he spent an estimated $1.45 million. The S-Class and Escalade were too popular and easy to get, so the Maybach was created as a remedy. Its style is comparable to a more expensive S-Class with a bloated chassis. Even though it never received the sales that Mercedes had planned for, this is precisely what qualifies it as mafia-worthy. Wall Street types record label XX and Third World Tyrants all took an immediate liking to it. Number 4. Maserati Quattroporte The Maserati Quattroporte is the ultimate statement vehicle, with the Sicilian Costa Nostra being the original mafia in charge of the town. It's undoubtedly their thing. It weighs 2,000 kilograms of high performance and can navigate the roads of Corleone without incident. Additionally, they can remove a lot of waste while maintaining their fashionable appearance thanks to the 16 cubic feet of cargo space. Number 5. Chevrolet Impala 1963-1964 The Chevy Impala is another trunk-heavy vehicle that comes to mind when discussing vintage mob movers. Starting off as a family vehicle, this quickly gained popularity among South Central gang bangers and Chicano lowriders who dealt drugs. It's impossible to find a West Coast rap video without an Impala in it. The vehicle was extremely popular among young people and continues to be adored by a whole new generation of drivers. Number 6. Cadillac Escalade This is a well-liked trip for any Jersey gangsters who works in the garbage removal business. You can add more seats if you need more room for the whole family or remove some of them to make room for more luggage. The Escalade offers a model to fit your demands. It has a 6.2-liter V8 engine that generates a whopping 403 horsepower overall. You'll probably agree that this is one of the list's most awesome multifunctional vehicle with some serious mafia games. Number 7. Chrysler 300C SRT8 The Chrysler appears to be an expensive vehicle. 
yet you can buy one at the top of the market for only $40,000. This opulent car is a favorite among the Irish mob and has the craziest gangster swag. It's not exactly modest, but it's possibly more noticeable than the upcoming cars on our list. Even though Chrysler's renowned safety system or standard, its top selling point is its quick acceleration. How fast? 425 brake horsepower is a well-educated estimation. Number 8. Ferrari F360 F430 1999 to 2009 This ride is anything but understated. This historic Ferrari, which was first produced at the turn of the century, has clutchless shifting with the F1 paddle shift transmission. But it is so loud that it is illegal. That is undoubtedly ideal for easy getaways, but it is by no means quiet. You'll have fun and a ton of mafia attitude when you pull up in one of these. Whether you're in the F360 or the F430 that followed it, which was niftier. Number 9. Mercedes-Benz 600 Pullman 1963-1981 the Pullman embodies the Boss Mobile lifestyle. Its six-door precisely designed and the icy styled vehicle is a cross between a limousine and a hearse. And that might be your last ride, depending on which side of the pistol you're on. It is the preferred vehicle among the Russian Mafia and the sole criterion is that it be available in black. The Pullman served as a prototype for the present Maybach brand, using the same amount of gas as a Chevy Suburban. It is already a heavyweight, weighing 6,000 pounds and costing $38,000 when it was a brand new vehicle, even without the addition of customized armor. Number 10. Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost A list of this kind would be incomplete without mentioning the Silver Ghost. Recently, Floyd Mayweather acquired one to add to his considerable collection. During the Roaring Twenties, when juice joints were hip and flappers were trendy, mobsters frequented the Silver Ghost. Arnold Rothstein and Johnny Torrio were two well-known clever people who liked to drive a Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. Which well-known mobster was such a lover of Ford that they thanked Henry Ford directly? In the 1930s, the Ford Model V8 was a standard in the moving industry and became well-known in Chicago thanks to gangsters like Babyface Nelson and John Dillinger, who used it as their go-to getaway vehicle. The notorious criminal couple Bonnie and Clyde were so ardent Ford supporters that they even wrote Henry Ford a letter of gratitude expressing their thanks for the Ford Model A's dependability and speed, which were helpful to them in their line of business. We're not entirely sure if Henry Ford had that in mind when he mass-produced the black automobile. And that's all for today's video. Which car would you use if you were to give the Mafia feels? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy everything luxurious, check out our other videos. And if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until our next video. See you then.